Greetings, dear viewers. We extend a warm welcome to every one of you as we embark on yet another intriguing scientific journey together. In this enlightening video, we are about to delve into some crucial aspects concerning brain and nervous diseases, as well as conditions affecting the prostate, heart, and digestive systems. It is disheartening to note that certain false sexologists have been propagating misconceptions that blame celibacy for causing these ailments. These misguided beliefs, influenced by Freud's psychology, have unfortunately led the younger generation towards adultery, with the misguided notion that it will grant them good health and happiness. However, it is essential to rely on the findings of reputable scientists who have conducted extensive research on this matter. Their investigations have shown that excessive sexual excitement and the loss of celibacy and semen can lead to the onset of various diseases. The likes of neurasthenia, insanity, epilepsy, and even cancer in critical organs such as the brain, nervous system, prostate, heart, and digestive system can be linked to these factors. It is crucial to emphasize that these findings are not merely personal opinions. A plethora of studies have been carried out on this subject, and scientists have presented their clinical conclusions for all to comprehend. Now, let us focus on prostate cancer, one of the most prevalent male cancers in the Western world and ranks as the second leading cause of cancer-related death in men, following lung cancer. Several factors contribute to the increased risk of prostate cancer, including age, genetics, diet, lifestyle, and medications. Notably, numerous studies have uncovered a connection between sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea and syphilis, having multiple sexual partners, or engaging in high levels of sexual activity, and an elevated risk of prostate cancer, amounting to an increase of up to 40%. To shed light on some notable research works in this domain, we have the pioneering work of R. B. Hayes and their team, which was published in the esteemed British Journal of Cancer v. 82 in 2000, titled, Sexual Behavior Studies and Risk for Prostate Cancer. Additionally, K. A. Rosenblatt and their team explored this topic, and their article, Sexual Factors and the Risk of Prostate Cancer, was published in the American Journal of Epidemiology v. 153 in 2001. Moreover, L. K. Dennis and D. V. Dawson, conducted a study entitled, Meta-Analysis of Measures of Sexual Activity and Prostate Cancer, which was published in Epidemiology v. 13 in 2002. Unfortunately, in 2003, misleading propaganda circulated in the media and on the internet, stemming from the research of prostate cancer medical scientist G. G. Gillis and their team. It was erroneously claimed that masturbation could protect against prostate cancer. In truth, nowhere in their research did G. G. Gillis make any such assertion regarding masturbation. Their study, Sexual Factors and Prostate Cancer, was published in BJU International v. 92 in 2003. This research was also supported by other scientific research teams, such as those led by S. Brody and R. T. D. Oliver. Regrettably, this misinformation has created an illusion in modern society, leading millions of youths to compromise their invaluable physical abilities and life unwittingly. Now, let us focus on the profound impact of sexual excitement and the loss of celibacy on our hearts. It is essential to recognize that our heart plays a vital role in blood circulation, expertly mixing oxygen into deoxygenated blood and transporting it first to the brain and subsequently to the entire body. This crucial function necessitates an electrical signal, which modern scientists, including Dr. Diamond, have aptly termed life energy. For valuable insight, we refer to the research of Havelock Ellis in Psychology of Sex, published in New York. Mentor 1963, wherein it is revealed that the heart rate doubles during sexual intercourse. The ensuing vascular and muscular excitement can adversely affect the heart, particularly in men. There have been wounds on various organs, sadly, even the spleen rupture. In mature males, blood vessels may sometimes fail to withstand the heightened blood pressure, leading to brain hemorrhage and paralysis. Tragically, in elderly men, the excitement experienced during sexual intercourse with young wives or prostitutes has, on occasion, resulted in death. 
Dr. Edwin Flato has brought to light that sexual intercourse leads to losing vital fluids containing essential elements, weakening the individual and placing added strain on the heart. Furthermore, Delans has noted various physical reactions during sexual intercourse, including facial reddening, swelling of the neck, engorged veins, burning skin accompanied by sweat, accelerated heartbeats, and slowing of the heartbeat. Professor Vaughn Gruber has cautioned against excessive sexual arousal, as it impedes physical and mental development, hampering the process of metabolism and growth. Ultimately, extreme sexual arousal can lead to cardiac arrest, hastening one's demise. Now, one may understandably have concerns about marriage upon learning all of this. It is crucial to understand that sexual energy is a natural force bestowed upon us solely for procreation, ensuring the continuation of life on Earth. Indeed, it is a sacred responsibility to bring new life into the world, utilizing the life force inherent in our bodies. However, it is imperative to grasp the significance of utilizing this power responsibly, as its misuse can gradually weaken us physically, mentally, and spiritually. This profound truth has been aptly expressed by Kingsford, who eloquently stated, whatever is given to the body will be taken from the soul. In essence, misusing our physical indulgences can pollute our spiritual essence. Next, let us explore how sexual excitement and the loss of celibacy impact our digestive system. Numerous young individuals have approached Manthan Hub, sharing their struggles with deteriorating digestive health due to excessive ejaculation, leading to irregular and untimely bowel movements. The pancreas hormone is essential for proper digestion and the timely emptying of the stomach. Professor Serge Vonaroff and Professor Eugen Steinach posit that the depletion of sex hormones and life energy due to excessive ejaculation harms all bodily organs. Unfortunately, excessive ejaculation disrupts the delicate balance of sex hormones and life energy, resulting in harmful effects on all organs. Since our organ systems are intricately interconnected, a deficiency in the pancreas hormone affects the pancreas gland and the proper functioning of the digestive system. This, in turn, leads to complaints of indigestion and constipation among the youth. Now let us know how sexual excitement and loss of celibacy spoils the brain and nervous system. But hiding this fact, people have been misguided by saying that not having sexual intercourse or following celibacy causes more mental diseases. Professor Mescheed has said that in his 47 years of psychiatry practice, he has not encountered a single case where celibacy resulted in mental illness. Hutchinson termed the belief that exercise of sexual function is necessary to maintain one's health at any age a myth, because sexual activity before maturity is always harmful. Gramer has said that sexual continence before marriage is never detrimental. Finkler has said that sexual abstinence is never harmful to the youth, but beneficial to the mind and body. Strumpel has said that continence and celibacy are capable of indirectly preventing many types of venereal infections and are never harmful. Hoche has said that sexual continence or celibacy is never harmful and never induces masturbation. Spend has written that those who are afflicted by diseases like nervousness, if this thing is instilled in them, that is, distance from sexual activity is never harmful, such people can also follow sexual continence, and they never face any problems. Mall has said that in the present times, almost all medical men agree that sexual abstinence is not harmful in any way. Numerous esteemed researchers, medical professionals, and scientists have attested that sexual abstinence is never harmful and can benefit overall health. The names of those people are Professor Montegaza, Professor Alfred Fournier, Professor Du Bois, Professor of Neuropathology at Bern, Professor Furbringer, Professor Leidston, Professor Osterling of Tübingen University, Professor Beale of the Royal College of London, the eminent gynecologist, Ribbing, the great authority, Acton, the gynecologist, Hagar, the eminent English authority on the physiology of sex, Marshall, Dr. L. Robinowicz, neurologist and psychiatrist, formerly president of the New York Neurological Society, the eminent psychiatrist Dr. Spitzka, also once, president of the New York Neurological Society, 
The New York gynecologist and sexologist, Dr. B.S. Tommy, Professor Sejaus, Dean of American Endocrinologists, Dr. Bruce of the University of Oklahoma, Professor Brown Secord, world-famous physiologist and father of the science of endocrinology, Dr. Du Bois, the neuropathologist, and others, are also among the proponents of the positive effects of celibacy. The crux of their research lies in the profound connection between the chemistry of our semen and the central nervous system. Both semen and nerves contain essential substances like lecithin, cholesterol, and phosphorus, making them intrinsically linked. When seminal fluid is lost through masturbation, sexual intercourse, or other activities, the brain and nervous system suffer from a lack of necessary nutrition, resulting in weakened functionality. This disruption can lead to severe conditions such as neurasthenia, epilepsy, or even insanity, and numerous youths have reached out for help with topics such in the last five years. Fortunately, it has been scientifically claimed that today's young generation can readily embrace celibacy with the proper knowledge. To that end, we have provided accurate information to dispel doubts. We must debunk the misconception that purity is impossible in today's world. Countless individuals have proven that following the path of Brahmacharya, the practice of celibacy, is indeed attainable. Millions of youth have demonstrated that, by adhering to celibacy, nothing is beyond their reach. We implore you to share this video far and wide, as the knowledge it imparts can positively impact countless lives. Wishing you all the best in your pursuit of health, wisdom, and fulfillment. Together, let us embrace the power of celibacy and unlock the extraordinary potential within each of us.